Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Anna, and today I'll be taking you around affordable and delicious places to eat in Toronto. The spot we're heading to right now was my lifesaver back in the day. It can also be easily named as the best Japanese bento box in the city that is definitely worth your buck. Chicken as well as the dynamite roll, that's it. Chicken tofu lunch, chicken tofu lunch, and a garlic Yes, thank you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This place is called Sushi on Bloor, and I used to live uh, relatively close, maybe 20 minutes away from here, walking. Coming here today, I was expecting that the lunch special got more expensive, and it hasn't. 13.25, where you get chicken teriyaki or katsu with rice, vegetable tempura, salad, and uh, soup. At some point, I was obsessed with this place because it's such a good quality. For the price you pay, it's a gem. I used to divide my meal by two. I would eat half of it here and then pack the other half to go so that I have lunch next day. This place didn't have Wi-Fi. I'm pretty sure they still don't have any Wi-Fi. But my data on the phone was also limited, so I would come here and just like sit down for a meal by myself and i've spoken about it in my previous videos it was very uncomfortable for me in the beginning and uh, because i was here pretty often they would always sit me at the bar because they knew i'm coming by myself i think one day i was very close to breaking down in tears just because i was so homesick and lonely and then i was just looking at everyone that had company at the table and i didn't <laughs> So weird. Thank you. Your portion size remained the same. Yeah. It's very big. And it's the same price, right? Um, uh, grow up a little bit. Just a little just bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Can you just guys appreciate the amount of food that you get for 13.25? Here we have a lot of rice, tons of rice chicken teriyaki which i like the fact that it's charred regular lettuce salad with carrot and ginger garlic as well as the tempura vegetables slice of melon and orange you also get a miso soup which is which is pretty good well i'm pretty sure it's like pre-made but still tastes good we also got the sauce for tempura i was honestly expecting that the portion size is gonna shrink inflation and shit but this is the best. Exactly the same taste. I know. There is nothing crazy about a lunchbox that is sold pretty much at every sushi joint. But hey, this is the ultimate comfort food that brings not only the flavor but also the nourishment from freshly cooked rice, protein, and hot soup. When I always used to eat on the go and warm food was quite a rare occasion, this teriyaki bento was like a food hug for me. Besides, it served me as a great distraction from all of the chaos I was going through as a newbie in this country. With every bite here, I was kind of submerged merging into the nostalgia of those days and I just caught myself thinking, you know what, keeping the quality the same as well as the flavors for so many years after which people would keep coming to eat at this restaurant is extremely hard. And for us, the customers, it's priceless. Food indeed creates memories and grabs a tiny bit of your brain that will remember the exact taste of something delicious that you have once tried. So this little family restaurant actually allows us to keep all those memories fresh and and it just creates so much respect to the daily labor that is going into keeping the food here an unbelievable quality. Just 
Just a side note, the lunch special is available during the entire week from noon to 5 p.m. on the weekdays until 3 p.m. on the weekend. It also comes in different versions. You can get yourself a bento or a udon or just a set of sushi for that exact same price. I've got another taster with me today. To cure just because I'm going to the cheapest spot out of all. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure a lot of people know this place because of multiple reasons. First of all, it's a chain and it's been around for ages, I think. Second of all, it doesn't seem pretty at all. The storefront looks like you don't want to go in there and try their food, but it's um, very cheap. It used to be like $4 per uh, chicken bao. Now I think it's like $6 and I used to go there every time I needed like a quick bite. Good still. Uh, I just made being picky. Ordered three pieces with fried chicken. One of them is jalapeno mayo. It's pretty spicy, and the other one is mild for her. She doesn't need any spice. Alright. It's windy as hell, but here you have a steamed bao bun, pickled carrots fresh cucumbers, fried chicken, a spicy jalapeno mayo, and uh, the jalapenos itself. Mm. Oh. My hair is perfect. I like that they put so many fresh vegetables so that kind of helps with the greasiness of the fried chicken. And well, it adds up the crunch. I like that too. That thing was only $5.25. I think it's pretty good for a legit bao bun. Chicken is surprisingly very juicy, right? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's really good. Five dollars, all time favorite. gonna eat pizza today to be completely honest with you this place has been added to my favorite spots to eat list just uh, recently I would say a year and a half ago there is a kid that's screaming I hope you can hear me I remember that I came to this place for the first time when I just got my job I signed the offer that day kind of symbolizes a start of a new life for me long story short I've been looking for a job at that point Point for like six months I was getting a bit depressed I was living out of my savings I was trying to get into a new industry with no experience and it was it was pretty complicated I was stressed for the entire six month period but I finally got the offer my partner and I would just pick this place to have dinner do you guys want to have kids one day <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> once in a lifetime experience like this with pizza it's still affordable i'm not gonna say that it's cheap i would say that it's a, definitely a pricey pizza but it's worth it this place will always have like a special spot in my heart i don't know it feels like it has divided my life to before and after everything that happened after was something that i've never planned and i'm really happy that i haven't planned it and it happened that's it I know sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you've just had enough <laughs>
gone wrong Just remember that I'm here to cheer you on Yeah I wanna pick you up from the ground Let you know that I'm always around Cause I know we can make it Yes, we can make it If we try Keep on trying You got it I believe in you You would probably wonder what is so different about this pizza from the rest. I would say that little details make it perfect. The crust is the mix of crunchy and chewy, tomato sauce is made from scratch and it's actually crazy how you can taste all of those horrible aromas in there. Toppings, oh god, they are on point. Dry cured pepperoni, roasted mushrooms coupled with fresh mozzarella and grated parm, I think it even sounds perfect. This time around, a few other things make this pizza so special and that's because I got to share it with my best friend and my brother who recently joined me here in Canada, following me this entire time and I couldn't be happier and more grateful for this moment of which I've been dreaming for years and years. Wrapping up this video, I just want to say thank you for sticking around and listening to almost my entire life story. Please make sure to watch the first part of this video, like and subscribe because this will support me tremendously in continuing filming content on this channel. Remember, we don't live to eat, but good food is a little luxury that we have nowadays that honestly can transform ordinary moments into extraordinary memories. There is a story in every dish that will remind you of the laughter you've shared, the conversations you've had, and the simple things that you cherished. Embrace it and know that food isn't only feeding your body, but it's also comforting your soul.